We can save our favorite transactions and create our own favorites menu in SAP GUI. This is a very important skill that allows us to get easier and faster to the transactions that we use every day. And also we can download this list to our PC and share it with our colleagues or use it in another system. Hello, this is Abdullah Galal and welcome to another video in the Getting Started with SCEP s for hana playlist. By the end of this video, you will be an expert in managing your favorites menu and your favorite transactions in SCEP GUI. You will know how to create new folders, add new transactions, change them, delete them, and also how to download the list of favorites to your PC so you can edit it in Notepad. This will allow you to add a lot of new transactions easily and also a lot of new folders. And then you can share this list with your colleagues so they can upload it to their user IDs and also you can upload it to any other SCEP system you want. Now let's start with our demo. Internal Accounting entries in every the the SAP department. business process the integration is for HANA. Here I have SAP GUI version 7.7 and everything I will show in the demo today is valid for all the SCEP GUI versions. When you log into any SCEP user, you will have this favorites menu already defined in the SCEP menu, but it will be empty. In my case, I already have some transactions here. So let me show you how to manage this menu. First, you can right click on favorites and here you can insert folders, insert transactions or add other objects. For example, you can add website links. So if your bookmarks from Google Chrome, for example, if you have important sites, important blogs that you check, then you can also add the links here. Now I will start by inserting a new folder and let it, let's call this folder demo one. So this folder by default will be here at the top. You can easily move it up and down as you want. You can insert it inside another folder. So this is very dynamic. Now I will keep it outside here and if I want to for example, move it down, I can bring it here and so on. And then inside this folder, we don't have any transactions yet. So let's say I'm going to add these transactions into the folder. So I can easily click on the transaction and put it in the folder like this. Very easy to use. And this one also. And I'm going to keep these two outside as they are. So now you know how to create a new folder and how to insert some transactions into the folder. Now let's see how to insert a new transaction. For example, I can right click here click on insert transaction and then insert the transaction code. So let's add FB02, change financial document, and it will come automatically with the description of the transaction, which we can change. So I can right click here and I click on change favorites, and then I can change the description as I want. This is only going to impact my favorites. It has nothing to do with any other users or with the default SAP menu. So if I change this description, it is not going to change the description of the transaction itself in the SAP standard menu. So this is only for me. So feel free to do whatever you want. So for example, I can call this one change document at end of month. So I can add some notes for myself. So I know that this is a transaction that I, know, that I use every day that I use at the end of the month and so on. So feel free to do whatever you want and then enter. And this will change the description of the transaction in my favorites. So now you know how to add a new transaction by inserting the transaction code. The other option you can do is to go to the SAP menu. So for example, if you use the standard SAP menu and here we have the transaction F-02 and I want to add it to my favorites. So I can either right click here and click on add to favorites and this will add it to my favorites here and then I can pull it into any folder or I can also pull the transaction from the menu into the favorites inside any folder I want. So for example, here I have FV50 and I'm going to move it inside SW. So now I have the transaction here. So now you know how to add a transaction either by inserting the transaction code or from the standard SCEP menu. Now the other thing we can add is another object. So if I want to add a website link, I can easily right click on the folder and then click on insert or add other objects. And here we have a long list of objects. You can feel free to test them as you want, but the one I use the most is web address or file. So here I can insert text and the web address link. So for example, I will insert uh, Galal Consulting, which is my website. And here I will insert the link, galalconsulting.com. Now, once I double click on this link, and this will open the link in my default web browser. I can also insert links to Fury applications which is very useful. So now if I want to open SAP Fury, I can go from here to the transaction 
slash n slash ui2 slash flp which has a, which i already explained in many other videos so let's open our fury launchpad and then if there is any application that i use daily that i want to keep in my favorites then i can open the application here and just copy the link the application link so this is like any other website link so you copy it and then here you can right click here for example and insert add other objects add a website link and you paste the link and this will allow you to open the fury application directly from sap GUI. so here i'm going to insert the link and let's call it data migration fury app also you can add any text you want as we agreed and then just press enter and from now on whenever you double click on this link it will open directly the fury application now let's go back to SAP GUI and see how we can delete any of our favorites or change the folders or delete them. So if I want to delete the favorite, I can just right click here and click on delete favorites and this will delete the file. I can also delete an entire folder by going to the folder, right click and delete. And I can also change the folder description if I want. So now we understand how to create new folders, change them or delete them and, to, and how to add new transactions or new website links and how to change them or delete them also. The next step is to learn how to download this list into your PC or your MacBook, and then how to edit the list in Notepad, which is very useful, and also how to upload this list again into another user ID or into another system if you want. So to download the list, you can go here to Favorites and click on Download to PC. Once you do so, you will be asked to insert a description for the file. So here we have the file name, I will insert, for example, demo one and then click on save and the file has been downloaded. Now let's go to Windows Explorer. Here we have our file. So you can just double click and then open it with Notepad or Notepad++, any application you use. So let's use the standard Notepad. And this file is very easy to edit. As you see, it is a text file. It will take you some time at first to understand where to add the new lines and so on. But because we already had some favorites in SCEP, we can use this as an example. So now, for example, if you look here, you will find that first we have the folders. So this is a transaction. So anything starting with TR is a transaction. And things that don't start with TR, these are folders. So now we have folder 20, 19, 18, 25. So we have SW, IWBEP, Fury, Demo1. So these are uh, our folders. And then we have different transactions. And when the transaction is inside a folder, you will find that this code here is the folder code. So for example, we have here the Fury folder, which starts with 1018. Now, any transaction here that has 18 in it, this is included in the Fury folder. It's very easy to understand how this works when you have this example. So now we know that if we want to add a new transaction into this folder, then we just copy one of these transactions and we change the last num number or the last two numbers and it will be added to the folder. Let's try this together. I know it can look complicated, but once you get used to it, it's very easy to do. And this is not something you do often. So normally you just build your favorites menu from SAP itself. But in case, for example, you want to add 20 transactions into your favorites, you don't want to add them one by one. This is the easiest way to do so. So you just extract it to, an, to a notepad, edit it in the notepad, and then upload it again to your user or share it with your colleagues. So now let's add another transaction into the Fury folder. So the Fury folder is 18. So now I'm going to copy any transaction here that has 18 in it. So let's copy this line. And then I will just go to the next line and press on enter to insert a new line. And here I'm going to paste. So, and just remove the empty one. So now I just, I copied the same transaction. So I have the same transaction here in two lines. I'm going to change the last two numbers because this has to be different for each transaction. So let's say this will be 15. And here we have 18, 15. And here I'm going to replace this with the transaction code I want to add. So let's say we want to add the transaction FBCG or FB03 to display an accounting document. So FB03. And then here I'm going to replace this with the description I want. So display accounting document document dash test favorite. Now, as you see, the text is behind the other lines, so I need to put it back in place. So I will press on space. Don't use tab, use space. 
So here I just press space, 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 space until I put it back with the other lines. It takes some trial and error to learn how to do this. So for example, if the text is behind the other lines, you'll find that it is trimmed. When you upload the file to SAP, you'll find that the text is not all displayed. So you will learn that you need to move it backwards, you need to, to move it forwards and so on. But then after you do it once or twice, you will get used to it. So now we have added another transaction to the folder Fury. We can also add another transaction that is not added into any folder. So for example, this one, was not added into any folders. So let's just copy it. And again, I'm going to paste here. And let's just call this one FB01, which is create accounting document, create document at end of month. As you see, it's already aligned with the other lines, so I don't need to change anything. So this should add another transaction into our menu, not inside any folders, but into the main favorites menu. And let's just call this demo so we can also confirm the results. So now we added two transactions. We added one transaction into the main favorites menu. We added another transaction into the Fury folder. And as you see also, we have here the website links. So this one is the migrate your data Fury app. You see this. So for any website link, you will find that we have this kind of object. And then we have the description. And in the following line, we have the website link, even in this one. So this is my YouTube channel. This is my website and so on. So whenever you are adding a website link, follow the same example. So just create some examples into SAP from SAP Go itself, then download the file and follow the same what SAP did to add other favorites of the same type. It's very easy to follow. Now I'm done. I'm going to save this file and let's upload it into another user ID. We can also upload it to our user ID. So for example, let's say I want to add 20 transactions or 30 transactions into my favorites and then upload it again to my user. So I can easily, now I downloaded the file. What I can do here is delete all. So I can delete all favorites and upload the file again. We can also do this. Now let's say for example, I would like to share my favorites list with one of my colleagues. Then I will download the list, edit it if I want to, and then share the file with my colleague. And he is going to upload this file into his user ID. And then he can choose either to replace his existing favorites with my file or to add my favorites into his existing ones. So in this case, he keeps his favorites, but also we will add additional folders that I shared with them. So now we have downloaded the file and we have seen how to edit it. Now let's see how to upload it into another user ID. Now I'm going to switch to another user ID that doesn't have any favorites and I'm going to upload my favorites list. So here we have another user ID. And to upload the favorites, go to the favorites menu and they click on upload from PC and then choose the file demo one, click on allow. And here we have the favorites. So now let's check the ones that we added. So first we have this transaction here, demo. So this is the one that we added in the notepad for FB01 to create documents. And here we also added another transaction into the Fury menu. So if you go to Fury, here we have test favorite display accounting documents. So it has been added also. And as you see, the text is all displayed well. So it's working fine. In case you find the text is not correct, then you either need to move the text forward or backwards, depending, depending on what you find here. It can be very easily done in Notepad and then you can upload the file again. Let's say one after the upload, we found that there are some mistakes in text. In this case, I can delete all favorites. So right click on favorites and click on delete all favorites. And this will delete the entire menu. And then we can upload again. So again, to go again to favorites, upload from PC, choose the file again. And here we have our favorites. Now let's say that I already have my favorites like this. And the one of my colleagues has shared his favorites that I also want to add to my menu. In this case, I can upload the file without replacing what I already have. So I can go to favorites, upload from PC. And let's say that I have another file, another favorites file, not the same one. I'm going to test with this one just to show you, but imagine that you have a different file. Demo one, and then here click again on allow. And I receive this question, do you want to insert or append? If I click on append, then this adds the new favorites here next to my own old favorites. So it does not replace anything. So this is how we can add some other favorites into our already existing favorites. And congratulations, now you are an expert in managing the favorites in SAP GOE. This is a very essential skill. I have been into many SAP projects and in most of the projects I find that there is always 
an accounting manager or a finance manager or a very strong key user on the system who has a very well organized list of favorites and then all of his colleagues are looking at this list and they ask how they can create their own list like this. Now you understand that you can very easily download your favorites list into a file and share it with all your colleagues so you all have the same favorites. I have seen people who create entire SCEP menus that match their own requirements and with their own descriptions. They have different folders for each period so they have, they have folders for end of day, they have folders for end of month and so on. So feel free to create your favorites. It really helps a lot in saving time and in not forgetting what you have to do. So if there are some transactions you have to run at the end of the day, then you add them to one folder. And at the end of every day, you run the transactions in the folder. It will help you remember what you need to do and you can share it with your colleagues. I hope you found the video useful and interesting. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments. And if you'd like to get access to an SCEP S4HANA 2023 system, where you can test everything you want. You can configure the system as you want, you can test all the business processes, then you can check the service that I provide. Go to www.galalconsulting.com slash SCEP access to see all the details. And if you have any questions or you would like to discuss any topics with me personally in private, then you can book a one-to-one -one session from my website also. So go to www.galalconsulting.com slash appointment and you'll find my calendar and you can book any time that suits you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share the video with your connections and check the channel membership program if you would like to support the channel and get access to the member exclusive videos and documents. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.